Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media. We've been going hard, we've been going strong with the 10 year anniversary, but it's time to dial it back a little bit and go to the chill land of Silk, of Shingo Nakamura, uh, with Uncharted Waters from 2011. Uh, also a little note, I tried to match up my outfit or bow tie with uh, each of the colors for the anniversary, but I have no orange bow tie or shirt. I feel like that's like, Orange is one of my favorite colors. It's probably number two. I think it's blue and orange for me. But um, I, I have I have like 20 bow ties and none of them are even close to orange. This is the really the closest thing to orange. That's for like a pink or like a pale pink I had. So yellow it's gonna be for now. But uh, yeah, um, I am not the hugest Shingo Nakamura fan. Uh, the LP that just came out, I thought it was okay. It's some, I mean, solid, just progressive house. Uh, but it's not really anything more than that to me. It's just kind of background music for me and I'm not a huge fan. Uh, it's not that I don't hate it. I just don't love it. So it's almost like a five or six out of 10 for me just because it just, it feels like it's meh, it's neutral. But this is from 2011. So this is gonna be even more interesting. This is though the prime time of House, at least in my opinion, when House was kind of at its peak, uh, it would have been early to, uh, 2010s, like 2011, 2014. Um, so I'm interested to see what, uh, what this is going to be like. This is, uh, Uncharted Waters by Shingo Nakamura. Nakamura? Nakamura? Mura? Nakamura. Ooh! I like the atmosphere of this so far. I'm more intrigued right now than I have on anything from the Glow LP. Maybe because I'm in the hype mood of the 10 year anniversary, but this has engaged my attention quicker. Ooh, I like those hits. Ooh, is that supposed to be a wrong note? Sounded a lot like a wrong note. Oh, I love those deeper bass hits. That doesn't sound as egregious that time, but. I dig this actually. I really like that sound a lot. I I think this is technically prog house, but I think I think this really is deep house. Yeah, they say it's progressive house. I'm just gonna look at this thing one more time. The leak. Yeah, they say it's Progressive House. Ooh. I am actually a fairly big fan of this. Something, I don't know, something about this just hits with me better. Like this is what I would listen to when I first started listening to EDM, like 2012, 2013. I don't know how much I would repeat listen to this, but I do enjoy it quite a bit. I 
I can already tell you, this is my favorite Shingo Nakamura track to date. Um, probably without a doubt, actually. I'm just vibing to this. Feel, it feels like it has a, a stronger sense of tonality and where it wants to go and what it's trying to portray in this uncharted waters. Okay, the refrain, right, I don't think it's technically a refrain, but. A nice little calm outro. Yeah, I don't necessarily mind the outro as much. Um, just a nice slow fade out though. I uh, feel like a little bit of an awkward fade out, but uh, whatever, it's 2011. Uh, that was Uncharted Waters by Shingo Nakamura. Uh, that was, like I said in the actual listen through, um, that was my favorite Shingo track to date. Um, I just thought it was a great mix of the Deep House sounds with the Progressive House actual genre style. Uh, it felt like it had more of a purpose to where it was moving or where the song was going and the movements throughout the song. Um, and, uh, yeah, there was an, a nice calming melody. There was that weird note at the beginning though, when the, uh, whatever that synth or keys started to play. Um, but I was, a, I was a fan. I, I don't know how much I would really go back and listen to it, uh, on repeat viewings or listening, not viewings. Um, but I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. I, yeah, again, I don't know. I don't know how much I would really go back and be like, yeah, I want to listen to this so much more. I really did like it. And I think if it was in like a, a background or like study playlist of mine, I don't study anymore what I'm talking about, um, that I would enjoy it quite like a lot. Like I'd be like, this is, this is a great, great atmosphere. I love it. But, uh, I just, that's just not me nowadays. I'm just not listening to progressive house or a lot of that kind of chill house on the daily or weekly. And so that's just my listening patterns back then, 2011, or when I started listening to EDM, I would have actually really liked this track. Um, so I got uh, big thumbs up for you, uh, Shingo here. I'm a, I'm a fan. I am definitely a fan. I do now. This is making me want to go back now and look at the rest of his discography. I, I wasn't really that intrigued before, um, but this is, this is making it a little more interesting for me. So we'll see what I uh, think of that. But, um, that is it for the video. Let me know what you guys think of this track in particular, Uncharted Waters from 2011 by Shingo Nakamura. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below. I read every single comment I have for a year and however long I've been doing this. I think like a year, like 13, 14 months now. So I read all the comments. I reply to most of them if I have time uh, or I think it's a comment that actually needs a reply, but uh, yeah. I've been Bowtie Media. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in another video.